What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm answering you guys a question. You guys saw the Denali that is not in the garage. It's outside now. Uh, in the, one of my snap stories, you guys are all going crazy asking me, whoa, 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 what happened? I'm gonna explain to you. Just, just simmer down guys, stay calm. First, yes, the Ram is still doing good. I still love this girl. She's still running great. And for you guys that keep asking me about lift and everything, I'm gonna explain it and tell you again because I keep getting the same question. The lift is a Carly three and a quarter inch lift. Uh, the back, all they did, I think it's an inch higher, barely. It's just the back is just sits a little higher than the front. It is on 37, 13, 50, 20s with a 20 by nine rim and a plus 18 offset. Now that we got that done and you guys know, you probably don't have to ask me no more. I'm still sure I'll get the questions. Also guys, stay tuned. We got a package coming in today or tomorrow, I believe, uh, for the Ram that you guys, uh, you guys I think are gonna like. And I, I'm sure, I know I'm sure going to like it because well, I had that capability in my uh, Duramax and don't have it in this. We're going to add it in this. Well, because to me, I use it a lot, uh, especially come desert season, you know, I need it out there. So uh, stay tuned for that. We got some stuff coming uh, for the Ram. But for the Denali, so what had happened, and no, it's not my Denali, it's a customer's Denali. I'll go outside and show it to you right now. So here it is, guys, 2018 GMC Sierra Denali. Yes, I gotta say, it's a beautiful, beautiful looking truck. I still love the look of these trucks. Honestly, better than the 2020s. But if you guys remember this one, so we did the 30 inch light bar right in here for the customer with the uh, brackets, they bolt. So there's a metal like uh, rod that comes like this and we bolt it, uh, bolt that to the bracket right there. Then he has the orange uh, construction lights front and in the rear over here. I'll turn them on and show you guys. Uh, but for this setup, he didn't want them bolted like where you can see them. So we stuck them down below and yes, these are the reverse lights. So the reason why he came in here, these reverse lights stop working on him. And this is really crucial guys. I'm getting a lot of trucks in here that are having the same problem. It's these damn rats and mice. So what happened was he thought we blew a fuse. I go, what? There's no way. You know, so I'm, I'm looking it over, tracing the wire, and noticed that I had power all the way to about here. And then when I would poke the wire, honestly, about like uh, maybe less than a foot over, the voltage went from 12.2 to like 2.2. I go, all right, something's wrong in between there. So we checked the wire. Well, sure enough, a rat like chewed or mice whatever chewed through the power cable and it was causing it to short out on the frame of the truck now that should have blown the fuse and I tested I stuck it on there good and it did pop the fuse so I know it's working but it was it wasn't enough to blow the fuse but also the voltage was not enough to kick these lights on it was so low of a voltage, the lights, you know, they're like, well, sorry, I can't work like that. I need, you know, the full 12 volts. I will show you and turn the lights on right now too. Also, switch selection. So for this customer, as you guys know, on the Duramax, I always stick them right here. This customer did not want them there. He wanted them right here, you know, easy up close by his hand. Uh, we just drilled, you know, some holes here. And again, this is what the customer wanted, so. Don't comment, you know, tell me, oh my goodness, why would you drill it? This is what the customer wants. We give what the customer wants. We do what they want. So this is for the uh, yellow strobes, backlights, and 30 inch. I will show you the strobes. And then the button to change the strobe is right there. So when you push that button, it will change the pattern of the strobe lights. Whatever, you know, pattern uh, he wants while he's at his construction side or whatever. So there you go. Check it out. So this is a 30 inch and uh, caution lights. And they're nice, you know, because they sit flush, they're clean in the grill, you know, nothing is sticking out. You can barely tell that light bar is extremely, extremely bright at night. Here's his backup lights right there. And there's the strobe lights. And yes, guys, that noise is normal. You asked me about that. You say, yeah, my rigid does the same thing. That is normal, don't, don't worry about it. And what I did here, so all I did was just weld uh, tabs onto the uh, frame right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll turn the lights off. You see that? Welded right there and then this I just welded it right onto there. As you guys know you can also pop this bolt out and stick that rigid light uh, right there. It will bolt up to it. Now also he has the revolver 
uh, cover that I don't like, but I have it on my truck, well, because they don't last too long. He has the X2 instead of the X4 cover, which uh, this one's okay. See here, guys? This is what I don't like. This is what happened to mine. You see this? This glue right here. Let me see if you guys can see that. This glue right here is starting to come off. And what happens on my old Duramax that did this, this whole thing was flopping down. And, you know, it's doing it on this side too. And, you know, I mean, is it a big deal? No, but for the amount of money that, you know, we're paying for uh, these covers, I mean, we shouldn't have we shouldn't have this issue. This truck is only two years old. I think, or this cover, I believe he's had it for two years old. Even the truck, I think this truck's the 18. It's not very old, two years old probably. Uh, and, we, you know, we shouldn't be having issues like this, uh, you know, paying the amount that we pay. These covers should be, you know, pretty damn strong and durable. And these, he probably has these here. I'm not sure why. He's probably, I think I know he's selling his, uh, one of his razors, I believe. Also, guys, don't forget the big ding ding is still for sale. I will give you a little walk around uh, tour of the ding ding. Some of you guys want to see it, uh, so that's fine. So I'll show you. There is, it, uh, it's a triple axle. This thing, when you measure it, measures like 36 feet. So it's a big boy. Uh, but you do have 20 feet of storage. Oh, I killed the, uh, the battery, the main switch. But uh, it does have 20 feet of storage in it. Let me open it here for you. It has two queen beds that come down from there, two twin beds that come down there, or uh, they go into a table. You got your uh, uh, Chingus there, your microwave. I've, I don't think even we've ever used it. Uh, you got your stove here. I think we barely use this thing. Yeah, we've never really used that either. Fridge. Uh, the fridge, yeah. You know, I use it just for some drinks and stuff. I don't put too much food in it. And, oh, I remember one of you guys, well, actually, quite a few of you guys kept asking me, Eddie, why do you put baking soda? Well, the baking soda, oh, the door closed. The baking soda allows uh, the fridge not to smell. So it's good to keep in a, hey, let me lock this, uh, this door here for you. It's good to keep some of that in your fridge uh, to, you know, keep the fridge good, perfect condition. Uh, I mean, you can see this fridge, it's brand new still. Uh, let's see, here's your little uh, compartment or your uh, gauge to let everything know. Obviously here there is no power because I have the kill switch off to keep the batteries nice and full so they're not draining. You got your, I don't know, section here to wash, do your thing. You got your bed here. You got your, where you handle your business, the shower. Uh, that's about it, guys. You know, you got your little, uh, little closet in here. And I put bigger TVs back here. I put, I believe this is a 32, and over here is a Samsung 42 on a swivel. Other than that, that's about it. And if you guys are interested in the big ding ding over here, you can DM me at Eddie's Life on Instagram, and I will give you pricing and give you more pictures if you want. Also, another thing, if any of my subscribers have a hookup on wood, or have wood, or want to get rid of some uh, good, decent wood, uh, let me know. DM me because this is my big wood pile. I always need a lot more wood. Well, as you guys know, for the desert, because we go out so much. What up, homegirl? And, uh, damn, this sounds right. And we need a lot of wood. So, if you guys uh, come across any, let me know. I'll pick some up. And before you guys ask me about the uh, Ram the stock tires, sorry, they are gone. Uh, somebody bought them already. The only tires I have left are the uh, Toyo, the 35. 125017 uh, Toyo Open Country MTs out there with about 20 30 percent tread left. So, if you guys want them, make me an offer on them. Other than that, everything's gone. And so, oh, wait, we still got this cover here, guys. So, this cover, a lot of you guys tell me you want it, you want it, but uh, number one, for you guys that want it, I'm not shipping this thing. So, only reason is because this thing weighs a ton and it'll cost way too much in shipping, nor do I have a box to fit or ship this in. So I would like to deal with somebody locally. I apologize about that uh, for you guys that do want it. And for you guys want it, I would double check your truck. So I had like one guy, he wanted it, but he had like a Chevy 1500. You know, I don't know if it's gonna fit a Chevy. You guys need to double check the specs. I'll give you the part number again uh, for this, move this broom, uh, for this. It is 792, wait, where is it? There it is, 79223. 
79223 and that is the model so if your truck takes a 79223 uh, well then this cover is for you uh, if it does not well I wouldn't recommend buying it because you're just gonna waste that money and it's not gonna fit but the moral of this guys is don't let rats and mice eat your stuff in your truck I know some of you guys have no choice for example that customer he parks his truck outside open to the elements uh, it is what it is, but if you guys can set some traps like I mean I got even in my garage I don't get none, but I have a massive rat trap right there uh, I've had it you know since I moved in never went off I have a bunch a bunch of the boxes around my house all over I have the little glue traps you guys know I have like eight of them in here all by the door Well because if they're gonna come in they're gonna come in right there. So you I got one over there We got another one hidden actually under here uh, it gets all that stuff I would highly highly recommend you guys get some of these in your garage or some of you guys I have uh, some customers what I do if they're not driving the truck for a long time I'll open their hood and I'll put those glue traps uh, right on top of like the battery because what they like to do these mice is they like to pick at the fur the cover that's on the battery to keep it warm they like to pick at that and they use that to make a little nest and to stay warm uh, also right here, you know, I got another one here. I got these all over and the only thing I get pretty much are all these little bugs, you know, crickets. Uh, I don't even know what the heck half those spiders, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, and then I got a company, they come out and they uh, change them all for me. They change the boxes, they change all that stuff. So moral of the story is guys, try to protect, um, you know, your, your stuff as much as you can. If you start seeing, you know, inside of the truck battery, like where it looks like the battery's been chewed on, uh, it gets like all hairy, you can see it. You know, that's the, your first indication you got mice. So try to get rid of them or get them out as much as you can. I know it's difficult and it costs money, but it's worth the money, trust me, because this same customer had mice in his motorhome. They ate the inverter wire and peed all over the inverter, ended up frying it, and it ended up costing about 3,500 bucks to replace his inverter in his motorhome and to get everything rewired. Uh, it's a nightmare, guys. So, you know, if you spend the 100 bucks that the company comes out or 200 bucks, whatever they charge to come out, it's going to save you a lot of time and it's going to save you a lot of headache. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button or click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.